to Draco Square. This must be Dracos Plaza. There are so many tourists here today. Well, this plaza and the Imperial Palace are the biggest tourist attractions. So this is Valflame Palace? I saw it from the station, but I still cannot can't believe it. So the Emperor and Chancellor are in that big ass building. And that statue in the middle must be Mr. All Important Emperor. The Lionheart Emperor, Emperor Dreykels. Well, let's look around as you make our way to the Valflame Palace. You should take note of anything that catches your attention. Vivi. I was hoping to write up something about the party, but I just couldn't get anything meaty. But I am not so easily deterred. There's a story here somewhere, I just need to find it. I'm sure you'll get your story. Sabrina. This dude looks like Anton. Anton. <laughs> young, young one. Dracos the Lionheart, Erebonia's father of the Renaissance. The statue was built after his passing so that he could watch over Heimdall. It has such a regal feel to it. Lord Quinn? Lionheart Emperor, Trichel's Rice Arner. Anything behind it? Nope. It's bask in its glory. Oh look, it's Annabelle and Kenneth! Oh, it's reading in the new class 7. It's been a while, guys. Have you heard? The fishing exhibition is finally close at hand. It will be held on the first day of the summer festival. That's only two days away. So they decided to make it part of the festivities then. It's going to be held out on the highway. I usually fish alone, so I'm unaccustomed to being in a big group. I can't contain my excitement. Even if we end up facing each other, I won't lose to Kenneth. Yeah, I'm going to give it my all. You two are as fired up about fishing as ever. For their sake, I hope the summer festival goes off without a hitch. Valflame Palace is really amazing up close. It's like a tiny ass little mountain. Including the spire sits 108. 180 arch high. It is without question the tallest building built by the Empire. However, it pales in comparison to the Orcus Tower, which stands at 250 arch tall. You don't need to be nice to me or anything. You can really sense the history surrounding it. Yeah. Kurt? I just noticed that those guards aren't leaving any openings. 
They truly are living up to the reputation of the Imperial Defense Force. Well, yeah, I heard some people back at their girls' school call them that. Yes, though before, the Imperial Guardsmen from the Provincial Army used to be the ones who protected Valflame Palace. They were disbanded after the Civil War and replaced by the Imperial Army's newly founded Imperial Defense Force. Every member is well versed in 104 military combat. What the hell is that? It's a form of swordsmanship used by the Imperial Army. I hear it's a combination of Arsade and Vanner styles, well of techniques that my father and the Viscount teach at least. I'm sure they're more than capable of fulfilling their role. Oh, you guys are. Why are you... do you... do our jurisdictions overlap? Precisely. Good day, members of Class 7. I'm sorry for interrupting your tour of the capital. This is part of our special operations missions. Though you say, but it seems like you were enjoying a relaxing stroll around the Imperial Palace. It's right at the afternoon, will you be able to finish with such a slow pace? Well, we have our own way of doing things. I heard you guys have been doing a good job with your civic security activities. Aren't you two the ones who came to our school with the prince doing our Panzer Soldat training? And where's the prince? Ada. <laughs> I am Ada of the main campus's class one. Prince. I'm Fritz, also from class one. A pleasure, Instructor Schwarzer. Hurt, is that you? No, wait. Randy, is that you? The prince and our instructor had some business to attend to in the palace. We finished our assignment, so we came here to greet them. I see. You guys are quite the loyal lapdogs. Stop it. So how far along are you on your investigation? So how far along... Oops. That is, if you wouldn't mind telling us. Sure, we... Rain reported the progress they made that morning. I see. Interesting. Got something to say to us? No, sorry. It just sounds to me like you didn't accomplish very much. On the other hand, we picked up many promising leads this morning. By the end of the day, we should have plenty of actual results. Shows you right for wasting your time helping the community. What a jerk. So an outsider wants to talk about the importance of special operation missions? Excuse me, we were just stating the facts. For the current state of the capital, which is more beneficial? Your actions or ours? Well, that's a tough one. I admit it, I admit it's not exciting, but it's not exactly pointless either. Hey, don't relent so easily. Hey now, let's all calm down. Class 1 has their way of doing things, as does Class 7. You guys can compete, but it's not a race. Besides, if we put all our eggs into investigating the spies, we might get blindsided by something else. Are you saying there are other threats? No, I'm just saying it's good to have multiple perspectives. And you guys deal with the aftermath of the north of the society in the north in North Ambria. Well, I graciously accept your warning. Well done, Instructor Heat. I think I was getting too hot-headed. It seems like things were heating up. Prince. Better be on your best behavior. Looks like your master's here. I, it must be a coincidence to see you here. Were you quarreling? No, there are no issues here. Seems like you've concluded your business. Yes, I wanted to take care of a few things regarding the party two days from now. Now, let us recommence our civic security activities. Yes, your highness. Regarding the Calvardian squads, they seem to be more skilled than we initially thought. If you encounter them, please be careful, that is all. Not. What was that? When we want to go somewhere, we're forced to either walk or take the tram. Must be nice to be them. Well, let's just do our best. Now back to our special operations missions. Okay, first things first, let's finish our um, quest 
for this and artifact thingy in bobber. Oh, you took off my rail locket. Okay. Oh dear, from behind. I'm going. Heal our wounds. The fear will rain. Thanks. Listen. Thanks. My mind is clear. My blade, My blade is calm. Empty. Is empty. Now! Ah! Seven flash! Shredded leaves! Fire formation. formation. Let's go. This is so much. It's so much cooler to listen to in English. My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now. Ah! Ah! Seven flash. Shredded leaves. All right, nice work. Nice. Good job, Breen. I'm pretty sure I can't side. Oh, like this direction, can I? Oh, I can. Treasure located. Oh, faint three. Sick. Oh, I have a solar gyre. I got it. A tough one. Yellow. Be on guard. It's strong. 
Let's go! Raging fire formation! Spirit unification! I'm up! Arcane! Scale! My turn! An opening! It's my turn! You can't escape! Fire! Our chance! Too slow! I shall go. Activate Fragorok. Destroy! There! An opening! It's my turn! My mind is clear. My blade empty. My mind is clear. Now. My blade uh, empty. Uh, ah! As and slash. Mortal leaves. Let's go. Ha! It's down. It's mine. My turn. There. It's mine. Here I go. I'm up. I shall go. Reanac, activate. Fire. I'm up. All right. Nice work. All right. Professor Epstein, the man who invented orbits, was able to figure out how artifacts worked. Huh. Okay. That's right, he's also the one who established the Epstein Foundation. Wow! I didn't know that! He passed away like 50 years ago, so there's no way to know for sure how he figured artifacts out. In any event, it seems we need to ship this thing off to the cathedral. Thank you for your help, everyone. Oh wait, I can actually- can I actually go back to the camp right now? They let me? Oh, I can. What's his face? Where are you? Oh, some bromance at the summer festival, I see. Eh, mess with it later. I'm supposed to go to... here.
Oh wait, I forgot to report to Monk. I got some good stuff for you, Monk. I got the dirt. <laughs> I've been waiting, Rain. Give me the dirt. <laughs> That's good stuff. I'll send you your prize. Distortion. done this before. It'd be too hard. At least it's more convenient to do. I don't have to open up the menu every single time to do it. Turn. I shall go. One ninety seven.
As a result, they discover a high-grade listening device. It was believed that this was the cause of all the interference. Afterwards, they checked the delivery truck and found the same type of listening device among packages bound for the department store. The driver knew nothing about it, and according to his manager, the delivery was made by a different company than usual. Due to the nature of the incident, the RMP took over the investigation, meaning Class 7 headed back to their client's workshop to report. So it was a listening device. Honestly, I'm, always, I'm having a hard time believing it. Odin gem. What this? 50 50. That's not bad. There's so much open space. Is that round building back there the race course? Yeah, the Heimdall race course, a building with over 200 years of history. Carl and Angelica used to go there often. I always wanted to go there, I just didn't think my first visit would be like this. Is that the off-site betting area? You can watch live broadcasts too, right? You seem to know a lot, but just so you know, miners can't bet on the races. What? Those are the rules. However, you can still go in. What's the point? What is the white building in front of the race course? Villa Solai. Soleil? I forgot how you say that word. Villa Solai. It has facilities like pools and baths. It's a salon that Imperial citizens have enjoyed for many years. Wow. That sounds crazy right now. I understand how you feel, but we don't have time for that right now. Let's save it for after the summer festival, as long as there aren't any hitches. On a cheapskate. Have you two forgotten? We're on a special operations mission. I don't think we'll be able to gather enough information. Yeah, so we're going to get back up from the guild and the intelligence division. Now let's get go to the race course. Understood. After the field exercises are over, would you like to go to Villa Salal with me, instructor? Stop that. We say never misses an opportunity. Hey, it's the last Mishi. I've completed the collection. Dustin. Tourist. Old Man Godor. The mandatory request is from the manager of the race course. We should bring it up with the receptionist. This may take a lot of time, it may even take all of our time. Yeah, if we have other things to do, we should do them first. Uh Yeah, I did everything.
After entering, Rain and company talked to the receptionist and told them why they were there. But... Uh, oops. That was a good race. I need to place more bets before the next one. Things are pretty lively in here. Even though people are gambling, everything seems calm. Only the Empire horse racing is an event for royals and nobles. Manners are important, so make sure you don't get kicked out. <laughs> Whatever. Judging by how things are going here, the manager must be really busy. Yes, I believe he's currently attending to the guests in the VIP area. Will you be able to, t to wait till after the main event, which is coming up next? I guess we came at a bad time. Underst understood, we'll wait around here. I'm really sorry. I'll let you know when the manager's ready, until then. Okay, what does everyone want to do? It seems the main event is happening soon, so we don't have enough time to go anywhere. Then should we wait here? Wanna find some seats and watch? Where's the fun in that if we can't even bet on the race? That's not necessarily true. There's one way you can place bets. Huh? That's right, Instructor Reen can place bets. Good point. Hold on, are you saying I should place some bets? Should we really be gambling during our special ops missions? Aren't you even the least bit curious, Kurt? I think it'll be a good lesson in social studies. Gambling that information pass incorporates past performances and uncertain conditions in order to predict the outcome. Sounds interesting. Okay, let's place a bet. I was still a student up until last spring, so this will be my first time placing a bet. Don't expect too much, okay? Oh, don't worry, we won't. Just one? Don't be so stingy. Well, let's see what you're made of, instructor. I guess I'll talk to all of them. I mean, I don't need to. This is completely optional. Black Prince makes for a real good stalker. Those are the horses that hang behind the front runners and pounce past them right at the end. When his conditioning is good, his closing speed is like none other. And his conditioning speed seems good indeed today. First place is, is in the next race. Number two, Black Prince is that horse. He's got a good step, looks like he has good strength too. Judging by the odds, he's the second favorite. I don't know which one to choose. Alright, Lumber Blitz is coming up. Lumber Blitz, Lumber Blitz is good. His acceleration in the, straightway, in the straightaways is something else. Early in his career, he had a temperament issue and was always running wild. But last year, he won the summer races. And this year, among the, he's among the favorites. Lumber Blitz is going to win, win it again. Which horse are you betting on, you ask? Number four, Landstar. Why is that? That's easy. My girl is a big fan of his. Landstar is just so cute. He's from the countryside, but he's really smart and he's such a good boy. The jockey is from the same town, so you can feel the hometown love. Number four, Landstar is that one. The jockey and horse both come from the same place, so you can kind of feel the hometown solidarity. Maybe that connection can be channeled into a good race. You look familiar.
One of the members at a riding club, Nines, is a professional jockey. And guess what? Kaiser Dice over there, also owned by Nice Nines. I'm sure Wonder will yield great results. After all, he got his coach watching over him from the stands. Kaiser Dice, number three is that horse. He's so calm concerning he's about to race, you can feel a sense of dignity coming from him. On the other hand, you could say he lacks passion, I wonder. And last but not least, Lino Bloom is an old horse who is really close to retiring. He's been losing for two years straight, everyone's given up on him, but he's a really hardworking horse. He even trained really hard just for today's race. I have a heart condition, so maybe I, have a, I see a little bit of myself in him. But I believe in him. I believe that he will bloom one last time. Oh, time to bet. Hello, today's main event is about to begin. If you'd like to place your bets, please let me know soon. Come on, man. You went with a long shot? Yeah, I didn't really do any research, so I just went with my gut. We're only trying it out, so there's no need to put much thought into it. If you win, you better treat us to something. The main race of the day will be starting shortly. Please place your bet soon, or you'll risk missing out. The horses are all in position now. Today is Lumber Blitz, and the second most popular is Black Prince. We're only three days away from the summer races now. Will the favorites continue to dominate, or will today's race see a huge upset? And they're off! Lumber Blitz dashes forward to the front of the pack with Landstar right on his tail. Black Prince and Kaiser Dice are keeping pace just behind them. And bringing up the rear is Lino Bloom. How will this race turn out? We are now on the final lap, and Lumber Blitz has managed to keep a hold on his lead. But Black Prince is gaining on him. Landstar and Kaiser Dice are trying to muscle their way into the lead, too. Oh, wow, they're almost there. What a boring race. No surprises here. I suppose he's the favorite horse for a reason. It seems the instructor chose poorly. Oh, well, at this rate. Oh? Hold on. What? Rocketing in out of nowhere, it's Lino Bloom! He's already past Kaiser Dice and Landstar! He's reached Black Prince, gaining on Lumber Blitz now! He is going for it, ladies and gentlemen! Lino Bloom has caught up to Lumber Blitz! They're neck and neck with a finish line in sight! How will this end? Oh, finish! yeah. Proving that despite his age, this old horse still has plenty of fire left in it. First place? I'm rich! <laughs> Lino Bloom, you did it! I didn't think it was even possible for him to catch up from so far back. Despite being a medium brown, he, he truly was a dark horse. Instructor, didn't you bet on five? Yeah, the odds were times ten, so I only won one thousand Mira. Ah, yeah, why'd you make such a low bet? Had you wagered a bit higher, you could have made a fortune. Yeah, but I was only trying it out. That's just how gambling is. I guess stuff like this never goes the way you want. Well, the race was entertaining, so it's probably fine. Agreed. It was a good way to pass hey the there. time. Fancy meeting you guys here. We meet again. Wow, sitting and watching a horse race, huh? Those missions of yours must be a real breeze. Scarecrow. Major Lecter, so that's where you were. So, you want to talk? You were here watching too? It's important to take a break during work every now and then, you know? 
five one two. Had a feeling it'd be an interesting race. Maybe I should have bet a little bit more. Wait, you called the trifecta? A trifecta? That's when you bet on what horses come in first, second, and third, correct? You must have won a ton. I guess some things never change. When you say work, you're talking about our targets, right? No need to beat around the bush. To tell the truth, you guys are really good. I can't get a thing on them. Seems like they got a serious trump card with them too. Trump card? Now, who's beating around the bush? You're not going to share this information with us? Don't worry. Once I've figured out just what it is they're packing, I'll pass the details along. Anywho, break time's over. Don't want to get yelled at for slacking off. Major Arundel. Hmm? The Intelligence Division has been analyzing the actions of these individuals, yes? What is their objective? Sabotage or espionage? <laughs> uh oh. Well, at first I'd have said it was 50 50, but now. Maybe 30 70? Huh? Wait, which is the order Musei said them in was. Don't forget, this is some top secret stuff here, so. I'll thank you to not try and pry any more out of me. The way things are set up, we'll forward the juicy bits of info along to you guys as soon as we know for sure. Anywho, ta ta for now. Ta ta for Good now. Good luck with your missions. He acts all laid back and casual, but that makes him really hard to read. You say it sounds like you just realized something. Oh no, I was actually just wondering about something. But is it sabotage or espionage? Depending on which one is the main focus, their methodology would be different. Yeah, we would need that. We need to keep that in mind. They've really grown. Anyway, setting the major aside for now, I'm sure the manager will be ready for us soon. I want some money, so I'll go buy us some juice. Oh, are you sure? Just juice, huh? Sorry for the wait. The manager will see you in the VIP room. It's just before the left wing. Please use the connection gate to get us get there. Understood. The VIP room is in the left wing. A request from the race course, what could it be? Seymour and Marjorie. Sorry for keeping you waiting, especially considering that we were the ones who made the request. Oh, it's fine. We got to enjoy the race. That comeback was very impressive. It was very interesting. It would have been nice if I could place my own bets. Hey, boss man. Anyway, you can get a minor like me in on the action. I think I'd prefer you just enjoy the race for a few more years. Once you come of age, we will be more than happy to accommodate you. Sheesh. Well, will you tell us about the request? Of course. Let's all take a seat on the sofas over there. Reading company received information about the request from the manager. Underneath the race course? Yeah, a few of our staff members have reported hearing mysterious roaring from coming from down there. When we looked into it, we came to the conclusion that there is a mysterious monster in the underground sector. Monsters are common in that sector, but this one is completely different. Monsters are common? What's a place like that doing beneath a race course? 
Well, actually, there's a vast network of underground roads that spread out all across Heimdall. But unlike the Geofront, there's nothing modern about it. There's this common knowledge in the Dark Capital, remnants from the Dark Ages, as it were. I heard that it's so vast we still don't know the full extent of it. I see. So you're saying it goes under the race course? Yes, as long as you don't go down there, it isn't dangerous, but the roaring was extraordinary. You could hear it moving down around down there, but this beast has yet to be seen. Some of our staff members are worried, that's why we reached out to the Imperial Household Agency. Understood. Please leave this to us. Alright, we're going underground, everyone. Does anyone have any issues? No problem. I'm ready whenever. I'm glad I have you all turn to turn to. Very well, please wait here. Alright. We're going to meet at the Bracer Guild branch on Vesta Street at 7pm. So they're opening that one back up too. Got it. I might be a little late, but I'll definitely be there. Sounds good. See you then. I gotta be off myself. There's a couple things I need to take care of before we go party. Good luck, Tilly, and the rest of your new Class 7ers too. Sorry. Um, of course our special ops missions are still on our top priority. We just don't know a lot about the monsters underground, be sure to keep your guards up. Got it. Let's put our hearts into our mission so Instructor Rin can go see his friends tonight without any worries. You're like a wife driving her husband to his mistress's house. An interesting analogy. He'll get embarrassed if you tease him too much, so let's leave it at that for the time being. Thanks for being so considerate. Beginning search. There. Damn it. I don't know why I made that. We would be going beneath Heimdall. Room, we have the advantage. Information, my turn. Let's go. 
Let's go. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> They're in disarray. Uh, it's down. It's mine. Let's go. Get back. Here I go. <laughs> now. Yeah. There. An opening. Very well. Yeah. Behold the vandal. Grew a little. There. Uh, I found some treasure. There. Charge complete. How is that thing? Information obtained. Here I go! You can't escape our chance! Everyone ready? Leave yes. it to me! Yeah. My turn. Resonate! Divine Song Formation! I shall go. Huh. There's more! Very well. Shall go. Free and fire. Let's go. Form. Yeah. It's my turn. Let's go. Uh, there. It's mine. I keep coming. Let's go. Uh, strike. Here I go. Break through. Sledgehammer. All right. You can't escape. It's my fire. turn. Form. Yeah. I shall go. There. Let's go. Yeah. Is that all? Stop. Yeah. Huh? They're in disarray. Break through! Sledgehammer! Get back! It's down! I'll assist. My turn. Uh, ah! Now. Free and fire. There. An opening! It's my turn! You can't escape our chance! Everyone ready? Lead to me! Yeah. I'm up! Get back now! I'll assist. I shall go. Free and fire! Battle complete. Let's continue. Battle complete. Let's continue. Yeah! Charge complete, huh? Our chance to attack! Let's go! Raging fire formation! You're a unit I'm up! Now! I'll assist! Alright! You can't get our chance! Too slow! <laughs> I found some treasure! There! There! Char Charge complete! Got all the chest so far, good, good. Yeah. This is the end. This is the end. An opening! 
Let's go! Raging fire formation! You can't escape our chance! Too slow! My turn. Free and fire! It's my turn! Form! Yeah! My turn! Uh, there! It's mine! Island! My turn. Free and fire! There's more! I'm up! Form! It's down! Let's go, Altina! Yes! Uh, let's go! Let's go! Raging fire formation! My turn! Uh, strike! All right! Our chance! Too slow! Now! Free and fire! There! An opening! My turn! Uh, strike! Let's go! Roll! Helix strike! It's my turn! Our chance! Too slow! I shall go. Very well. Behold the Vander stuff. Behold the Vander style. Arcus just can't even connect down here. I thought you were supposed to be able to get a signal anywhere in the city. Yes, but the communications network doesn't reach underground. It's rather inconvenient if we're not able to make calls when we need to. Even if we had a repeater, I don't think it would do us much good down here. Continues. Yeah. There. Charge complete. Huh? Yeah. What is this? We have the advantage. Uh, there. It's mine. Let's go. Get back. It's down. I'll assist. I shall go. Free and fire. There. Everyone. Got Leave it to me. Yeah. It's my turn. Our chance! Too slow! Very well. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah. Uh. This is the An end. opening! Let's go! Raging fire formation! Get back! Now! I'll assist. My turn. Uh, ah! My turn. Activate destroy. There. An opening. All right. We can't get our chance. Too slow. I'm up. Form now. I'll assist. My turn. Ja there. It's mine. Island. <laughs> Violet hair music. Let me see this. Violet hair. Violet. That looks pretty decent on her. With the mint color. A bit better. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. They're in disarray. Roll. Helix strike. My turn. Let's go. Raging fire formation. Let's go. Uh, it's my right. turn. Yeah. Wide open. Too slow. I shall go. Go wild. Crazy hunt. My turn. Free and fire. Let's go. Yeah. Behold the Vander style. Behold the Vander style. Yeah. Charge complete. Looks like a be on guard. It's strong. Uh -huh. Let's go. Break through! Sledgehammer! My turn. Uh -huh. It's down. It's mine! Let's go! Roll! Helix strike! Now! Free and fire! Now! An opening! It's my turn! Strike! Windblade formation! Here I go! Uh, ah! Wide open! Too slow! My turn! Uh, it's down! It's mine! Alright! Ah! Wide open! 
Too slow. Very well. Uh -huh. Very well. Let's go. Raging fire formation. Let's go. Uh, there. It's mine. I shall go. Grand fire. There. An opening. All right. Uh, I can't. Too slow. Stay down. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Good work. Another moon truffle. Style. Uh, I found some treasure. Oh, another passionate rope. Oh my god, I didn't. Jeez. I forgot to equip my. Where's my grill locket? Where is it? Tension on the line. Rather small. I just straight up caught a shark. We'll catch one more. <laughs> He's casting. Fight received. It's strong. I got one. That enemy is strong. This one's strong. Be careful. Search mode activate. Detailed information obtained. It's my turn. <sighs> Spirit unification. Let's go. Down. It's down. I'll assist. It's my turn. Our chance. Too slow. My turn. It's down. It's mine. My turn. Grianak, activate. Fire. Now. An opening. I'm up. Get back. It's down. I was going to speed this up very well. Bit. Uh, there. At once. I Go got to it. I shall go. go. Now. An opening. Here I go. <laughs> Wide open. Too slow. <laughs> right on. All right. All right. There. Charge complete. This is to you. Be on guard. Get strong. Ha! I'll support Thanks. you. Now. Free and fire. Let's go. Uh, there. It's mine! Here I go! You can't escape! Let's go! Fire! Spirit Unific! It's my turn! Let's go! Raging fire formation! I'm up! Crimson Slug! Now! I'll assist! My turn! Beats uh, down! It's mine! Now! Activate destroy! Now! An opening! Let's go! Yeah. 
It's down! I'll assist. It's my turn! Let's go! Raging fire formation! Here I go! Take this! I can't! Too slow! I'm up! Everyone okay? Yeah! I, I must train... Stats up! <laughs> I... <laughs> I grew a little. Ah, oh, treasure chest. Astro Bell. That's good. No one really uses Mirage here. Yeah! Charge complete! Okay, hang on. Before I continue, I need to take a leak real quick. Give me one second. How's monster hunting? Ah, uh, a chore like always. There. 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 A good spot for a break. Is that... Scarlet Plomograss. Personal Mare now here. What's going on? We'll figure this uh, things out later. Something's coming. It's gigantic. It's one of those magic knights. Armored magic knight heavy golem. Be on guard! It's strong! <sighs> Very well! Let's go! Evan Crest! My turn! I shall go. Search mode activate. Detailed information obtained. Huh. It's my turn. Spirit unification. Let's go. Breakthrough. Sledgehammer. It's my turn. Shall go. Switch. Leave it to me. Time barrier. Break. Right. 
My turn. Uh. <laughs> Very well. Uh. Strike. I'm up. Let's go. Raging fire formation. I'm up. Roar. Don't look at me like that. Pow! Now's our chance. Too slow. Very well. Strike. Wind blade formation. Let's go. Ah! Strike. There! An opening! My turn! Uh. Ha! Let's go! Uh. Strike! Heat's down! An opening! It's my turn! This'll get a bit spicy! Fire! An opening! Let's go! Strike! Wind blade formation! I'm up! Kane! Gale! Now! Keep it up! Excellent. Very well. My mind is clear. My blade, blade. empty. Empty. Now! Ah! Seven to flash! Shredded leaves! For everyone's sake, I can't afford to lose. He did it. Looks like it. From the look at things, Scarlet Plumagrass was the cause. But what is this stuff doing here in Heimdall? Well, if it was growing in the mare, it's not unthinkable it would appear here too. What's the big deal? It's just a bunch of grass. Let's rip it out of the ground. That might be your best option. Let's split up and get rid of all the program grass we can find. I think that's finally all of it. Although we still have no idea why it's showing up here. In any event, let's go back to the race course and report that we finished the request. We can talk more about the program grass once we're back at camp. The Advisory Council and the Food Agency. Just like the Imperial Chronicles said. Yeah, this is some strong proof of what they're planning. We need to determine their D-Day. Stop right there. Stop right there.
prepare for battle. Treat them as being more dangerous than the magic knight. These kids are pretty well trained. A military academy that deploys its students in live combat. The higher ups will want to hear about that. What a passionate foe! Ramda, activate! It's my turn! Arcus, activate! Let's go! Gonna give him a turn? Nah. Let's go. I don't need to see a turn from them. Ah, strike! I'm a fool. Now. Activate Fragra. Destroy. Now. It's mine. I'm up. I'm a fool. For everyone's sake, I can't afford to lose. Talvard has been secretly developing a fifth generation battle orbit. But then the powers they've been using are the result of combat leaks. That's right, and something tells me they still have more tricks up their sleeves. You only aren't half bad for a bunch of kids. As a show of respect, we'll tell you what it's called. Ramda. That's the official name of a new ordinance.
Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'm up! They're not here? Did they use that weird spatial ability again? They, know, they didn't slip past us, if I had to guess. I'd say they either used some sort of transportation art or hidden passage. Transportation art? Could they have the same technology as Ouroboros? If that's the case, we're screwed. This whole place is pretty much an ancient ruin, right? There's gotta be some secret passages. True, but we don't even know where to begin looking for them. You seem to be at wit's end. Again? Uh, that would be because I revealed myself to no one besides him. Reen Schwarzer. You have arrived in Heimdall at long last. Yet you seem to find yourself in yet another pinch. Oops. Yet you seem to find yourself in yet another pinch. Your luck truly is atrocious. I have a vague idea of who you are. But unfortunately we don't have time to chat with you right now. Oh dear me. Such a cold rejection is like an arrow to my heart. I come all this way to help you, and this is how you greet me? Well, no matter. I am both kind and generous. As a sign of our friendship, I will show you the way. Show me the way. It opened. Sense them. Follow me. Yeah. This fast. We need to find some way to catch up. Instructor, this direction is. I'm basically ahead of you guys gone now. Too far south. This is clearly out of city bounds. Oh, you guys are following me. How did that happen? Does that lead outside? It does. Eh. We can't afford to let them go. 
Looks like an ambush. Prepare to engage. There. Yeah. 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 Graveyard. The tunnels lead this far out from Heimdall. Yes, but more importantly, what are they doing here? We secured all three of their new battle ornaments. Nice job. I'll hold on to those for you. We refuse to divulge our affiliation or names. International law mandates proper treatment of us as prisoners of war. <laughs> You're pretty bossy for someone who's surrendered. Well, I'm certain the Intelligence Division will give you your proper treatment. So long as you do not resist or attempt to flee, we will guarantee your lives. <laughs> Took you long enough. Hey guys, what's up? Are any of you injured? <sighs> We're fine. I see all your preparations paid off, Major. You had this planned from all the way back when we met at the race course, didn't you? We were dancing at the end of his strings the whole time. What? He planned this whole thing? Is that even possible? If anyone would be capable of such a feat, it would be the Scarecrow. Hey now, I'm only human. This is all just a happy coincidence. We were finally able to catch the spies we've all been after. You should think of this as teamwork. How? <laughs> I can see how it would feel like we've stolen your prey out from under you. It's true that this place is southwest of Heimdall, so it does fall under your jurisdiction. Would you prefer if we handed them over to you? <laughs> it was Class 7 that flushed them out of hiding and wore them out. It doesn't matter who turns them in. Each of our groups should be thankful for the other's assistance. That's right. We should be glad they didn't manage to get away. You're all fine with this, right guys? Yes. No objections. Huh. We'll leave it to you. I suddenly feel exhausted. There's no need to feel down, guys. Our opponents were elite agents handpicked for this mission. Even managing to corner them like you did is impressive. Well done, everyone. I'm sure the experience taught you all a thing or two, right? You're right. We took care of that magic net while we were down there. I guess we were able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that squad of elites. It certainly feels like our skills have come up a long way. One might say we've leveled up. We did okay, I guess. And I'm so tired. Understandable. We just did a run at top speed through a labyrinth. Who is we? You were just riding that doll of yours the whole time. By the way, where is this place? It appears to be one of the cemeteries on the outskirts of Heimdall. Himmel Cemetery. I do not know the name. Not even... I've been all the way out here. I've come here a few times to pay my respects. If we go down the hill, we should end up back at the highway we were on this morning. It's a little past 4pm now, so I'd say our missions are done for the day. Um, whose grave did you come here to visit? If it's okay, we could pay our respects too. That's a good idea. Perhaps we ended up here for a reason. I agree, provided it's alright. Well, they didn't really like me, but it's the least I can do for disturbing the peace here. Yeah. 
east to the northeast. Follow me. Hello there, Reen. You found some new records? Very well. I'll start deciphering them. Leave it to me. Sabrine. Sabrine. Now, let's see. Oh, wow. Nice. I'll oh, wow. send you your Oh, wow. The year the Civil War took place. I see. So he was one of your friends from Class 7. Yeah. Crow Armbrust. He was actually a year ahead of us, like Instructor Toa. It was only for a short time, but he joined our class. We did all sorts of things together. Field studies, the school festival. He was a little brash and even more of a troublemaker. But he was caring, reliable, and one of the best friends you could ask for. Even though we became enemies once the Civil War broke out. It's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbrust you've known all this time, he isn't real. He never was. Okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. As I was affiliated with the Noble Alliance, I knew a little about him. He was the leader of the terrorist group known as the Imperial Liberation Front. He was also referred to as the Azure Chevalier. Oh, I heard about him. He and his Azure Knight wiped the floor with the Imperial Army. Yes. But right at the end, he finally returned to Class 7. When a calamity from two and a half centuries ago rose again and seized the Crown Prince, we all worked together. Me, Crow, the rest of Class 7, even Vita. We put everything aside and gave our all to rescue the Prince. Crow even put himself in danger to open up a way for me, but he was fatally injured as a result. What happened there pushed all of us in Class 7 to move forward. I decided to stay at Thoris with Valimar and fulfill the government's orders. Everyone else graduated and each of them decided to do what they could. We all pledged to meet up again in these turbulent times and find an answer together. You've never mentioned this before. I had the impression you and the members of the old Class 7 were planning something, but... I thought only the SSS had that kind of determination, but... You're just like them, Instructor. <laughs> what a bunch of starry-eyed dreamers. Normal people don't just go around spouting lines like that, you know. <laughs> I think it's lovely. <laughs> well, that's what those of us in the old Class 7 decided to do. There will come a time when you guys will need to decide how you're going to move forward as a class. 
and I plan to give you all the support I can until that time comes. Just like how our instructors and upperclassmen supported us. <laughs> Understood. Thank you. It's encouraging to hear that. You have our thanks for your guidance. I still do not completely understand myself, but I feel like I've gained a lot in these past few months. I haven't given up on making you mine, Instructor. But putting that aside for a moment, I think in a way something guided me to join all of you in Class 7. Well, I guess I can keep tagging along with you for a bit. That way? It'll be all the easier to pass you up. Sure. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong, Yuna? There's something shiny in the dirt here. Someone dropped their jewelry? Should we turn it into the Gravekeeper? It looks like quite a lovely brooch. I'm sure its owner... Oh. Is something wrong, Muse? That's Angelica's. I feel like I've seen it before. That's... That crazy biker chick had something like that on, didn't she? Can I see it a moment? There's no doubt. This is Angelica's. So she came here sometime after we saw her last month? Could it have been sitting here since then? Hey, it's been bugging me for a bit, but... Does the dirt here look off to anyone else? You're right. It looks different around this grave. As if it's recently been dug up. <sighs> Toa, are you at camp right now? I need to talk with the Major and the Principal. Uh-oh. Talking Discovery. Yeah, it's done that a few times for like things are about to get real moments. <laughs> it makes no sense yet. So basically the grave was empty. Yes, that's correct. There was nothing there at all. Nobody, not even the cloth that was wrapped around it. What does this mean? In all my years. Uh, Adios, please guide us. Are you certain Crow Ambrose was buried here? Could there have been some mistake? No. All of Class 7 and Toa's group were at his funeral. It was just a week after the end of the Civil War. I met the Azure Chevalier once or twice at Noble Alliance camps. I remember thinking it was a waste for someone like him to be used by Duke Kayan. And on top of this, there was that accessory from Lord Ragnar's daughter you found. We don't know for sure if something happened here just yet. Yes, but we should notify the Marquis and other groups right away. What also concerns me how there's no smell of decay in the grave. Herschel Schwarzer, I don't doubt you saw the Azure Chevalier's body get buried here, but are you sure it was the real thing? Ooh. I see, does that mean it was some kind of dummy? Now that I think about it, there's this old guy in the society who can make dolls that look just like people. In principle, it's not impossible. You need to reproduce the skeleton, muscle structure, and so on. However, the body aside from what I've heard, the Azure Chevalier most certainly died. Yes, I saw it happen with my own eyes. I saw his body too, but only after the infernal castle had disappeared. 
Well then perhaps it was swapped out between those points. Or perhaps it was resurrected for some reason. Like a certain saint or a king I could mention. If you think about it, that seems like something that could have happened. Impossible, it's simply too outlandish. Major Michael, can I ask you something? After the Infernal Castle disappeared, the Imperial Army recovered the Azure Knight. Is it still secure? It's too late. I'm sure the Republic isn't behind it, but we also need to be concerned about the safety of the Rognar girl. Please contact the Rognar estate immediately. Understood. I'll check in with the Gorelia Fortress. All forces have already been informed about the daughter of the Marquis going missing. Also, regarding the disappearance of the special trainee from the Roar Institute of Technology. We can't get in touch with George either? No, it happened around the same time as Angie. Either way, they were kidnapped together or... There's no point guessing now. You have other things to think about at the moment. That's right. The Scarlet Promograss encountered an, and a new type of golem from the Dark Ages. As if those two weren't bad enough, we also have the Republic's, Republic's Hercules squad to deal with. I heard some strange little blonde girl was spotted too. Well, I think we can disregard for her for now. I'm most concerned about the Scarlet Plumograss and the other special forces. According to the intelligence division, there are about 100 mem members. They're all supposed to be really strong too, right? That's right. On top of that, they've got a new battle organ. They called it Ramda. It wouldn't be a stretch to say we're completely in the dark about how strong they really are. Randall sent us a report on their organs, but apparently they're one big black, black box. My guess is, each one of them is customized to suit its user, and they've made them impossible to analyze from the outside. Well, that's a pain. Interesting. Have them send them here. I'd like to look up upon the Vern Company's latest technology with my own eyes. What? Maybe I can negotiate for one of the models. Either way, the Summer Festival begins the day after tomorrow. We receive the notice to capture and disable Calvert Special Forces by the end of the... The day tomorrow. This notice isn't from the Imperial Household Agency, but the government, Chancellor Osborne himself. But it makes sense. The day after tomorrow is the sum is the festival. After receiving the notice, the Intelligence Division, Railway Military Police, and Heimdall Military Police have all inc increased patrols in the city. In addition, both the Guild and the main campus will begin to act at full capacity. However, it seems the agents have thoroughly investigated the network of tunnels underneath the capital. It's a chance we'll be unable to apprehend them if they run into a secret passage. 4 p.m. tomorrow. If things are not settled by then, then the government will invoke martial law and call in the 4th Armored Division. What? They go that far? They will send the civilians into a panic. Yet, it's the most logical option. How interesting that I should be invited to such a celebration. Perhaps I should bring a gift. Orlando Herschel, divide combat tactics and military finance in two. We'll create two mixed teams. Orlando and I will each lead one and comb through the underground tunnels in the west half of the Heimdall. We'll eradicate our unwanted guests and this Scarlet Promo guest all at once. Whoa, where's this coming from all of a sudden? We can't eradicate the special forces agents. It's simply a figure of speech. But it will certainly be encouraging to have the principal in the field with us. Even more so if Herschel and I handle communications and backup duties. In that case, I'll prepare communication wave amplifiers for you. If you use it well, you'll be able to build a communication network underground. If I provide the main campus and the guild with them as well, it should work. Something like that even exists? Right, George gave us some of our for our field study two years ago. It was originally my invention. He seems to have made some improvements, however. I thought they might prove useful for something or other. So I brought them along. What a strange coincidence. You should have told us you brought something like that sooner. Well, alright then. Guess I'll go get ready. I'm a little worried about the students, but I'm sure they'll be fine with the principal and Randy. It's important we stay in contact with the guild on the main campus too. And Class 7 and I will... You will continue the patrol to patrol the capital and the surrounding areas. I'm certain there are things in the shadows that can only be revealed by Bracer work. Also, I'm sure we can expect some powerful assistance too. By the way, isn't it almost time? Oh, you're right. I need to excuse myself soon. Well, your meeting may also serve as a good way to exchange information with a number of parties. However, don't get back too late. Come on, it's his long-awaited reunion. Getting back tomorrow morning might be a bit much, but staying out past midnight, it'll be fun, yeah? 
Have fun, Rain. I will, but does that mean you're not? I think I'll pass this time. I still have a bunch of things I need to get ready for tomorrow, and I need to contact the Marquis. Understood. I'll make sure to talk to everyone about Angelica and George, too. Yes, please. Be sure to say hi to everyone for me. Off you go, then. Yay! Reunion time. Reunion time! Oh, my eyes so dry. 7 p.m. at the Guild Hall on Vesta Street. I should be able to t make it by bike. Um. If the lady of one's heart happens to be there, things can catch fire quickly. There won't be any of that. Okay, I'll see you all later. We have arrived, but first I'm going to make a quick detour.
all of them, right? Okay. Well, let's make sure I got all the books. Maybe I should show up in my bathing suit. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean to actually do that. Maybe I sh hmm. Oh yeah, I should save. Good call. The star of the show has arrived. Pardon me? Oh, Rain! You're finally here! Oh. <laughs> Guess I'm last. Sorry to have kept you. No worries. You're right on time. <laughs> Besides, we all know you had your field exercises to deal with. Well, as fully grown members of society and working professionals, we should be in the habit of arriving ten minutes early. No thanks. <laughs> Says the man who waltzed in a mere five minutes ago. The Guild Branch's reopening came at a good time. Yes, I'm sure most restaurants are completely full around now. I can hardly believe we were all finally able to meet up again. <laughs> I know, right? Especially since we're all so dang busy these days. That's right. We'll certainly have a lot to talk about tonight. Good grief. Now, now, everyone. No need to dive into the serious stuff right away. Come on, it's our first big reunion since you all graduated. Let's cut loose a little. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best to start this reunion with a series of tender embraces. And not just among the women, of course. All your male classmates should enjoy the comfort of each other's arms, too. Oh, Dorothy would love to see Why that. Not on my Hell life. no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sharon! Same as ever. Yes, <laughs> it's almost a little surprising. The time and place may be different, but in the end, we're all the same people. Well, we have all been chatting it up on that app of ours. <laughs> when you put it that way, it kind of takes the drama out of things. Let the wind embrace you. Fee, you grew taller. Elisa, you grew even prettier. And Emma, you grew even chestier. <laughs> oh, I, I was hoping you wouldn't mention that. <laughs> That hairstyle makes you look like an old man. D you're one to talk! Green, you and Gaius are just way too tall now. <laughs> Don't worry. I think I'm done growing now. Out of all of us, you seem to have grown the least, Milliam. Excuse you! I grew one whole reach!
We finally fulfilled our promise. Yeah. Elisa, everyone, thanks. Oh, please. For what? It's not like we all got together just for your sake, you know. Machias is blushing. <laughs> well, we are celebrating Reem's graduation, too. Yes. After we had left, he stayed behind to uphold the spirit of Class 7. Not to mention he's the one in charge of the next generation of Class 7ers. It's been said before, but you truly are the core of our group, Reen. Thank you for everything. You guys. <laughs> We're starting to sound way too sappy. Starting to? You guys have all been like this for years. I suppose there's no avoiding it. Today, especially. <laughs> in any event, we have the party set up in the back. I've prepared more than enough alcohol, so please enjoy, provided you're old enough. Oh man, I get to have Sharon's cooking again. The best. I can't wait. I knew I smelled something tasty. All right, give me the biggest, frothiest mug of beer you've got. You're nowhere near being old enough to drink. <laughs> uh. They all proceeded to savor the delicious meal Sharon had prepared for them. Between bites and compliments to the chef, they shared what they'd been doing since they last met up. The adults had their fill of beer more, more than others, while the younger members enjoyed soft drinks. Together, they flipped through the album Toe I'd given Reen and reminisced about the past. Afterwards. I believe I shall excuse myself now. Please enjoy the rest of your time here together, everyone. Thanks for all the food, Sharon. Yeah, it was delicious. Let's go drinking together again sometime. All right, see you later. Is your mom going to be arriving in Heimdall soon, Alicia? Yeah, she's taking a red, red eye flight with here with grandfather. Both of them were invited to the party being held at the palace. It's likely Sharon went to go pick up pick them up, however, it's just as likely she simply wished to give us privacy. I suppose, after all, she's at least a little bit related to the things we were planning to talk about tonight. Yeah, I agree. Man, she's getting way too caught up in the past. Oh yeah, have you checked this place for bugs? Mike, Mice? All that surveillance-y stuff? Mikes? Oh, mics. I thought he was talking about mice, I was like, what? Yep, top to bottom. There were such... There were many such devices found in Heimdall over the course of the day. Most of them hidden in the government, government buildings. The Imperial Chronicle's office, too. With that in mind, we should get down to business. Let us begin. A year ago, when all of us, save Reen, were allowed to graduate early, we promised each other that after one year had passed, we would have a reunion. Yeah, I felt like so long ago, but time has really flown since then. Identify the path Erebonia is headed down and determine how class 7 will act. That's what you said we'd do. Yes, the night after we survived the trial of the Reverie Quarter. When I first heard you say it, it sounded like your usual nonsense. To be fair though, we all had a bad feeling. The things we heard in the Infernal Castle the day we lost Crow. Yeah, and everything that Chancellor Osborne and the Governor General said about the direction they were leading Erebonia in. And about the phantasmal place plan the Chancellor stole from Ouroboros. We need to worry about both what's happening on the surface and what's going on behind the scenes. All the stuff we heard about then is finally starting to happen now. 
Indeed, the incidents that occurred this spring are proof. Let's begin by discussing the political situation occurring publicly. Yeah, I'm not really in any place to say it, but things have gotten pretty darn bad. I'm also curious what role Ouroboros and Calvert played behind the scenes of the Northern War. And the Imperial government's military decisions lately are just as suspicious. 12 of those new model railway cannons have been completed already. The four of them used to attack orders were carried to Crossbell. They carried those enormous things all the way from the canyon? The way I hear it, they had a brand new airship with more than enough muscle for the job. A 25, 250-yard ship called the Gargantua, I think. I've heard that name before, and it seems like they're working on making even more of them. All the audits happening all over the place lately made me realize. Mira, people, information, they're all being channeled into a few key projects. The, the Metropolis plan especially. All the tax money in the Empire has been consolidated in Heimdall and converted into a never before seen amount of military funds. Seems pretty clear what's going on. Yeah, all these things point to the same goal. The invasion of the Republic of Calvard. There's no mistaking it. Calvard's spies being here only serve to reinforce that hypothesis. So that means their goal is not sabotage but gathering information. Yeah, if they actually went and did anything, the war would be on the war would be on right then and there. They're probably trying to figure out the D-Day when the invasions plan to start. Just like I thought. Touring around the Empire, I heard rumors here and they're suggesting there'd be a war. I wouldn't be surprised if my mother knew about this already too. Between the railway cannons and new airships and the mass production of tanks and pens or soldats, there's no way she could have greenlit all those projects without knowing what they were for. On top of that, there's a huge factory being constructed in Crossbell. But given all that, the question becomes why? The war between these two massive countries could ravage the most of the con continent. It's true that Erebonia and Calvert have been at, at like cats and dogs for hundreds of years, but are they really just going to throw down? A war that size would bring international trade to a screeching halt, so none of the other countries are going to be too pleased. Besides, in order to start a war, they need authorization from the Emperor. There's no way he'd allow it without justification. Well, that wasn't an issue for the inv invasions of Crossbell and North Ambria, the justification was fabricated and statements from other countries were shut down. The one who set all this up is none other than Gilead Osborne. As his son, I think I have a unique understanding of just how dangerous that man is. You don't need to worry so much about that. I feel the same way about my older brother. Rufus Albrea, the head of the Ironbloods, I suspect he's no mere confident. I would be, wouldn't be surprised to discover it was he who laid the plans for the invasion in the early stages of the war. Yeah, I'd say the odds are pretty good. Recently, he's been acting pretty secretive with me. He's even been keeping stuff from Claire and Lecter. The most important thing being information about the Black Workshop. That name again. Yet another group lurking in the shadows of the Civil War. Both my brother and the Black Rabbit were lent to the Noble Alliance. If the invasion is the surface stuff, these guys are definitely one of the behind the scenes topics. That said, the two are more tightly woven together than ever now. I think it's safe to say, now that the Black Workshop is related to the gnomes who once fought the Hexen clan, it seems they have cut ties with Ouroboros and have sided with the Chancellor Osborne. They also hired the boss and that masked guy. He called himself Azra Siegfried, right? I can't believe it, but... Both the masked man and the Jaeger King flew off in what appeared to be Divine Knights. Between them and the Magician... Oh, Magician Maiden, I get the feeling something especially ominous is building. What? Yeah, it all reminds me of the circumstances that led to the War of the Lands and the arrival of the Infernal Castle. Something buried deep in Erebonia's history and connected to the Divine Knights. I discovered this while searching for my sister. As I mentioned, the spirit veins in Erebonia have begun to pulse faster and faster, just like during the Civil War, no, just like the War of the Alliance 250 years ago. Following the annexation of Crossbell and North Ambria, it's only started to speed up. It's this quickening of the spirit veins that's causing the cryptids, magic nets, and the scarlet plumber grass to appear. A link between the surface and what's happening beneath. From the sound of it, the only ones who know the full truth are Vita, Chancellor Osborne, Ouroboros, and the Black Workshop. Man, I wish my memory hadn't been erased. It's so frustrating not being able to remember anything from back then. 
I'm sure the homunculi and combat shells are super connected to all that behind the scenes stuff. Oh, that's right. I forgot the black workshop was where you created Milium. Yeah, I'm, on a, I'm a homunculus, so I'm technically a human. Uh, when they were the same people, it was basically, um, at the beginning of chapter three and a little bit at the end of chapter two is when we made that connection. It was basically the, okay, so more specifically, it was when we had a chat with when George and Elise came to visit town and, um, we had a conversation with between Reen, Randy, George, uh, Reen, Randy, George, and Toa over in the inn. Nighttime, yeah. Yeah, it was night. It was like a, uh, a nighttime event, right before we headed to bed. But besides the part of me that lets me link with Lamy, my DNA is pretty much the same as any of yours. I'm trying to think my growth was stunted, though. Don't know how long my lifespan's supposed to last either. I've heard a bit about that. The Black Workshop, unforgivable. Yeah, I'm glad we got Million and Altina from there, but. I can't forgive them for playing with someone's life like that. Yeah, I've been starting to think that recently too. Like, I'm fine with whatever happens to me, but I'm worried about Tilly. I see. It seems you have grown after all. Alright, we got some information from the branch campus earlier. Why don't you tell us the details, Reen? You mean about the ceremony? Or, ceremony, cemetery. Oh, that. We got the same report in the Intelligence Division. Huh? What happened? So, try to stay calm, everyone. Rena explained what happened during the day's Special Operations mission. And finished his story with mention of what they found at Crow's grave. Are you kidding me? And Angelica's brooch was there too? From the sound of it, everything leads back to the... Back to the Black Workshop. Concerning how the boss came back to life, maybe the same thing happened with Crow. Both of them are working for the Black Workshop, no, the gnomes. Are you saying they brought both of them back to life? Emma, do you know any of the spell? Do you know of any spell capable of performing such a feat? There is a forbidden spell known as the False Soul, but it was only ever attempted by wizards in the Dark Ages, and it's never once successfully resurrected anyone. It was said that most of the subjects became fiends known as Nosferatu. That name rings a bell. If I recall correctly, that was the name of the creature we encountered in Logan Castle. That monster. The Eager King and the Masked Men are certainly nothing like that abomination. I guess there's a chance the gnomes were somehow able to perfect the spell, but I doubt it. True resurrection is something only the goddess is capable of. I see. Trying to think about this stuff's making my head spin. Either way, something very strange is going on right now. And in the midst of it, Angelica and George have both gone missing. About that, I'm having the guild's inform informants look into the disappearances. I'll tell her to stay strong. Understood. Many mysteries yet remain, but that should be sufficient for today. We're starting to piece things together little by little. Indeed, we shall continue to look into matters until all is made clear. Now we need to decide as a class on what actions we should take. There are two things for sure. We need to stop the war that's been building on the surface before it starts. And that I need to drink some water. And at the same time, we need to find out what's been going on behind the scenes and prevent whatever disaster's being planned. I agree completely. Everything else might be really complicated. But those two goals are set in stone. This is something only we can figure out, thanks to each of us having branched out on our own. If we each make the most of our unique situations and pool information... Together, we will be able to overcome any obstacle we may come across. 
Right, no matter whether it's on the surface or behind the scenes. We don't have many allies, nor are we alone. Agreed. Let us find those willing to aid our cause. Wait, Milliam, are you okay with all of this? You do realize, standing with us will eventually mean standing against your fellow Ironbloods. That's right. Fighting cryptids and magic knights is one thing, but... Think this over and tell us what you want to do, Milliam. Hmm. You're gonna ask me that now? Huh? Milliam? I don't remember anything before the past five years. But I started to think about some stuff. Like what I am, and what it means to feel sadness. I've been thinking about this stuff ever since I met you guys two years ago. Oh. <sighs> I want to learn more about myself. I want to keep being your guys' friend. I like Gramps and Claire and Lecter, but... I want to find out what I am on my own terms. I don't like the idea of the Black Workshop controlling what I do and don't know. Even if it means going against Gramps, I'm a member of Class 7 till the end. I'm more than just the Black Workshop's OZ-73, the Ironblood's White Rabbit, and an agent of the Intelligence Division. Reen, Yusis, Elisa, Emma, Fee, Laura, Elliot, Machias, Gaius, Sarah, all you guys. When I cried for the first time, it was all of you who held me close. I'll always put you. My friends, first. Milliam. I see. <laughs> I swear, I think that caught us all off guard. I... I had no idea you felt that way about us. You may not have grown much physically, but you've definitely done a lot of growing on the inside. Agreed. In that sense, I think it's safe to say you grew the most out of any of us. I suppose we needn't worry about you anymore. Mm-hmm. It was silly of us to doubt her after all this time. Uh, you guys just can't resist the chance for an inspirational speech, can you? Well, now that you've decided what to do, you guys seem more determined than ever. For your more immediate plans. What are you all going to be up to tomorrow? Oh, nothing really. The new Class 7 and I will continue with our special ops missions. I think it's especially important we capture the Calvardian agents. I agree. If we let them roam free, whatever they do could be used as an excuse to start a war. Yep, just like how Keldic was used to start the Northern War. I'll continue playing my shows around the city and gather information. I'll come with you and see what I can find too. I'll keep following Grandfather and hit up some contacts of mine for info. Celine and I will continue to investigate the spirit veins around Heimdall. So the plan's for everyone to gather info, and then we'll all meet up and share notes, yeah? Yes. Let's stay in contact and be ready to move at a moment's notice. Alright, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Look at you. You're all so reliable now. But it's getting a bit late. How about we call it a night? The night is young. I'll set up a call with everyone early tomorrow morning, and we can talk about our plans in more detail. Yeah, sounds good. Get some good rest tonight, everyone. Are you two bracer types gonna stay here for the night? Mm-hmm. There are beds on the second floor. I'll be sleeping at home for the first time in a while. I assume the same can be said of you, Elliot? Oh. I know bonding. Yeah, that's probably tomorrow night. Yeah, I called my sister. Guys will be staying with us tonight. Thanks again. I appreciate the hospitality. Oh, I nearly forgot. We have yet to discuss your situation, Gaius. That's right! Explain! We were unable to contact you for nearly half a year. You were somewhere outside the country, right? Yes, but it's quite the tale, so it may be better to leave for next time. We're gonna meet up again before too long, so I'll tell you then. <laughs> True. Uh, I guess it wouldn't be fair if I heard it first, huh? Oh, and I was wondering, about that little blonde girl you mentioned seeing, Reen? I was wondering about that myself. You said she looked ten years old. Could be a witch in training? Well, that isn't right. 
But I guess it's not wrong either. She went missing and we've been looking all over for her. Sheesh, her and Vita both just wander wherever they want without telling us a thing. But whatever. I'm sure we'll have to introduce you to her soon. Now I'm even more curious. You spilled the beans already. <laughs> Got it. I'll be looking forward to it. Bye. Something wrong? No, just a nostalgic smell wafting around. I understand what I am, and the situation I'm in. Is that so? Would it be selfish if I said I'd rather you hated me? Copper Georg. <laughs> that question itself is completely pointless. Give me Albrecht's orders, Copper Georg. Georg? Tell me what role I'm supposed to play in tomorrow's act. All right. No. Azure Siegfried. Georg. Jorg. Same time, center of Heimdall. Looks like there's no getting Lino back. Nothing we can do for him now. At least we don't need to worry about him leaking any info. We're all set with Heimdall Bank. We just need to hit the VIP area, right? But they're planning a huge sweep of the tunnels tomorrow, right? They're going to declare martial law. They've got the 4th Division here on standby ready to go. But thanks to our Ramdas, we should be able to wait out the storm. We'll just need to keep a close eye on things and watch wait for our, watch for our chance to escape. What is this place? One of the Heimdall's underground crypts from the Dark Ages, I think. Red grass down here. What? It's grass. And you're surrounded. <sighs> Damned fools. <sighs> I'm too late. More of that prodigal child with me, we might have dealt with this together. Between the gnomes and the snakes, there are too many plots in motion for me to stop on my own. Perhaps I need to create more kin. <sighs> the day Leanne spoke of is close at hand. If nothing else, I must settle matters from 200 years ago before then. I vow it on the name of the final true ancestor. The one that failed to die. Crimson Roselia. This is truly an honor. Solid. Here, 
A reward. Gungnir. Good work out there. Hooray!